The wind has chased us around the Percy's for a few days and we decide to head over to Curlew Island for a bit of respite. It's a brisk trip across with a heavily reefed sail. We're glad to drop anchor in the lee of the island. We spend a day erecting a can, exploring and eating ashore. The next morning the wind has gone, so we plot a course to Mackay. With a 15 knot south easter, we have a pleasant trip through the islands. These are the conditions we really enjoy. We pass through the coal ships always anchored off Hay Point and arrive off the harbour just before sunset. As we are here for a few days, we decide to end for end our anchor chain. The anchor locker gets a good clean while we are at it. I get a call from home. My dad is sick and I need to get up there quickly. So it's onto the bus and off to the train station. That leaves me and Pip on the boat by ourselves. It will be a bit lonely with dawn gone, but we were lucky we were in the marina with access to public transport when we got the call. A decision has been made to head further north and pick Dorney up in the Whitsundays. The next morning is bright and sunny with very little wind and we head out of the marina bound for the Newry Group, about 40 nautical miles away. Pretty soon we're passing Slade Point. No use dragging any sail out today, there's just not enough wind. Soon Cape Hillsborough looms over the horizon. It's been a long day and we're glad to be anchored up in amongst the Newry Islands. A perfect sunset and it's a shame to have to fire the generator up to cook dinner. In the morning Bruce and Kay, some cruising friends, pick us up and we head ashore to explore. There's a good sandy beach at high tide and the ruins of an old resort.
After looking around, we head over to Outer Newry and walk to the ocean side. There's a camper's hut along the way. The beach is a bit disappointing, very rocky and exposed. back to the boats for another great sunset.